What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another Madden Mobile video and today I'm bringing you guys the top 10 QBs in Madden Mobile. Before we do hop in this video, make sure you guys do drop a like and subscribe for more great content. And if you guys are not like to subscribe, you guys are going to miss out on some great content. So if everyone else is subbing, then why don't you guys sub? But so basically here, I got 10 players written down on a piece of paper. You guys can't see the paper, of course. And I got the best QB uh, to the, like the worst. Well, top 10 is not the worst, but it's the least best. Okay. But if you guys want to see another episode like this, I could do it with wide receivers, like top 10 wide receivers, top 10 halfbacks, whatever you guys want. Comment down below. Let's hop right into it. Number 10, guys, I got up on here, which number 10 is the worst out of all of them. But still, they're still not bad cards. Top 10, I would say, is Jared Goff, 97 overall card. So I'll give you guys my reason on why I think this is the worst, which I don't think he's on the auction house now. He might have got bought, but there was a 97 Jared Goff signature. Here it is. So the reason for this is his speed's low. Um, compared to all the other QBs, he, his stats are a little bit lower by like two. So the awareness is decent. That's 96, uh, whatever that is. The agility is, I mean, agility for QB doesn't really matter unless you want to scramble. Uh, 85 acceleration. So overall, this card's not bad, but I'm going to put him for number 10. Uh, just because other card, there's other cards that have like a lot better stats and this card's only a 97 as well. So, I mean, there's going to be better QBs in the future that are like higher overall, but let's go into number nine guys. Number nine is Daniel Jones. So you guys may have seen this card on the auction house before. Um, it's a decent card, but, um, I don't know. I feel like his stats could have been a lot better. So he's got 81 speed, which is low, 80 agility, and 80 acceleration, which that kind of kills it though, because like think about it, if he gets, if the offensive line can't hold like a defensive end and they get past, there's no shot Daniel Jones is gonna get away from that. Um, but his awareness and throw power are really nice. Um, everything, honestly, his other stats are great, but the thing about his card is the acceleration, like that does really matter for a QB because. If someone's chasing them down and they can't accelerate quick enough, then they're going to get sacked. So that's why I put him for number nine. Number eight, guys, we have coming in is Baker Mayfield, all right? So we got Baker Mayfield. So this card is actually pretty hard to get, but if you guys are willing to spend almost a million to get him, it might be worth it, all right? So it's the head-to-head -head one. Um, so he's got 81 speed, 89 agility, which is, isn't bad at all. So that's good. 85 acceleration. Um, 94 awareness, 94 throw power, 97, uh, is that throw action short, I think? Um, yeah, but overall, I mean, not a bad card. The reason he came for number eight is because the acceleration was a lot higher and the agility was a lot higher than the Daniel Jones. Um, and look at his stats overall. He's not a bad QB at all. Um, he's got a better carry than my QB now, but. I might have to pick up one of these QBs, which I know what I'm going getting to pick up, but you guys probably don't. Next card we have up for number seven is Eli Manning. So Eli Manning did retire this year, so they gave him a career contribute or tribute, whatever they call it. Um, this card surprisingly not that expensive, and in my opinion, yeah, he's got low speed, agility, and acceleration. But I've seen gameplay of this card, and he just throws dots. Uh, just look at these stats down here. The reason he's number seven is because his stats down here are 20 times better than the other ones I've shown. Um, I've seen videos of the gameplay with him, and he's absolutely insane. He can't really run as much, but that's honestly... It does matter for QB to run, but if you have a good offensive line in this game, you shouldn't really have a problem, because um, you should be able to just throw darts with Eli Manning. For number six, guys, we have Kurt Warner. Um, if you guys don't know who that is, it's a legend player. Um, he's from the Rams, if I'm sure. He's from the Rams. All right, so he's a 98 overall QB. Um, look at his stats. Uh, all above 80s, so that's why I chose him. And also, his awareness is really high. Um, all these stats down here are... 94 plus which the other cars I shown only had like 90 like 90 plus I think that was it 
This card is really sick to have as well because you could also upgrade him to a 100 overall. If you don't want to do that, you could just wait for one to drop. Um, you can also get this player from the sets, from the Ultimate Legend sets, which I think you could still complete. Uh, so go ahead and do that. For number five, guys, we have Russell Wilson. All right, so a lot of you guys been coming into my stream saying I should snag Russell Wilson or snipe him or do whatever. In my opinion, it's a good card, but and like the one thing I really don't like about it is that the speed is you would say it's not that low, but it kind of is compared to the other QBs I'm going to show you. Um it's a little bit slower than the other ones, but this card in general, if you guys are breaking even, if you guys want to get a good QB underneath a million coins, definitely pick up Russell Wilson, all right? This is the closest card you're ever going to get to, like, a fast, good throwing QB, all right? He's got 91 speed, 96 agility, 94 acceleration, 94 awareness, 94 throw power, um, and you guys see all those other stats. But, yeah, this card is a beast. So, coming in for number four, we have Cam Newton. So... You guys are probably asking why they put him at number one um, or even higher up because he's number four. You'll see why. But for Cam Newton, the reason you I didn't put him as high because you can't get him right now um, till this date. So it's kind of hard to get him. So that's why I put him at number four. But this card is actually, it's absurd. So look at his stats. He's kind of almost got the same stats as Russell Wilson. So... I mean, maybe he's got a little bit higher stats, but if you guys are looking to pick up a really good QB, um, a lot of people have been telling me good things about this card, so that's why I put him as number four. Um, you got 92 speed, 93 agility, 92 acceleration, 96 awareness, 98 throw power, and you got all those other stats, <clears throat> and yeah. So for number three, guys, the card that everyone's been hyping up the last couple years um, this card has been good every year, and I think it's going to continue to stay that way. We got Michael Vick. Um, this year, I feel like he kind of died, like, died in price, and, like, he's not that expensive anymore, because I remember back then, he used to be, like, 10 mil, more than that. Now, he's kind of, like, you can snag him for, like, a million if you wanted to. But, this is the 98 overall, but there is also 100 overalls that people have, and they also sell for like I would say about three. Nah, I was gonna say I was gonna, I was gonna say three million, but I mean there's a potential. I've seen a couple cards for 100s before for three mil, but you could get, get this card for cheap. Like I said, um, he's got 94 acceleration, 96 agility, 96 acceleration, 97 awareness, 90 throw power, 96 taz, and just look at all the other stats. This card's actually insane. Um, and it's also really cool to have a Michael Vick on your team because look at the card art as well. His card art is actually nice. Um, but overall, I say if you guys wanted to pick up a Michael Vick, go for the 100 overall because his stats are 20 times better than this one. Pretty sure his speed gets up to a 96 and everything else is like a 98. For number two, guys, we have Pat Mahomes. So you guys are probably questioning this one because of his speed. All right. So, there's a bunch of Pat Mahomes. You can get the 97, which is 82 speed, but his throw stats are nice. But if you wanted to pick up a good Pat Mahomes, i say try to go for the 100 overall. This card is really cheap when it comes to, I, th I think, afternoon. In the afternoon, his price drops down to at least 2 million for this 100 overall. And just look at his stats. He's got 85 speed, 87 acceleration, 87 agility, all right? Honestly, it doesn't matter. He could still be any like defensive end if your offensive line is good like i said you're fine but look at his throwing stats like this guy would throw dots 99 awareness 99 throw power 96 tasks 95 96 and a 99 in my opinion this has he's got the best throwing stats in the game right now um actually for number one i think he might number one might actually have a little bit better but we'll see but this card if you're looking for a good throwing card then that's cheap pick up pat mahomes and for number one you guys definitely know who this is no 100 you guys know who's coming in top number one but before i show you if you guys made it this far in the video go ahead and comment down in the comment section position p-o-s-i-t-i-o-n position all right for number one guys i put <clears throat> but -na 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 -na, lamar jackson this card everyone knows is going to be top one so there is a 98 overall one, 
which look at his stats the 98 is insane all right 98 speed 98 agility 98 acceleration 98 awareness 95 throw power 97 cast just look at those stats that is just god tier everything you can't go wrong with lamar jackson anyways but if you guys are looking for a fast qb like this this qb can outrun any offensive just anything any defense you cannot run anything you could even like just stop using your halfback and just use lamar it might be worth just selling your whole team getting lamar you know what i mean i am definitely trying to cop this card for a video though um i'm trying to get the 100 overall version though which there's a 100 all version of this mvp card which i'm trying to get but i have to wait a little bit till people drop them um i've had a couple chances to buy him but i kind of like slept on him so i'll try to get him and i'll try to get some gameplay with him so you guys can see but before I end this video, make sure you guys comment down below what you guys thought about the top 10 players. If you guys saw I should have switched around a couple players or you think those players are missing that should have been top 10, comment down below your top 10. Just make like a little thing you guys say. <clears throat> and like I said, subscribe if you guys are new. And I'll see you guys next time, boys. Take care.